Now, here's something that I didn't think it would make the rounds in the gaming community. Frost had a meltdown live on stream, and I'm here to talk about it today. Give my thoughts on the whole situation. Guys, afterwards, I would love to know what you think. Welcome back to another video, everybody. So, I'm gonna read a little bit of the post here, and I still have to probably cut out some words because, of course, like, I'm trying to be as nice as possible for YouTube rules. Point is, if you wanna watch the entire thing, I'll leave it in the pinned comment, so please go check it out there, and feel free to come back if you'd like. Anyways, it has somehow become acceptable that you can talk about how much you wank to a woman as a compliment, Frost said. It is dehumanizing, and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Olivia Munn didn't exist to be nice on the eyes for you. All right, so here's my big problem with all this. You're on the internet and part of being online means that you will be looked at and often criticized. It's an unfortunate reality, but there's no escaping it. I haven't really followed her before this clip and I'm not doubting she gets some awful comments about her looks and I'm no way excusing that behavior. But it doesn't really matter how good looking you are because you can even take one of some of the most good looking people ever and you will get made fun of for the way that you look. To give a couple of examples, so many people think Zendaya is one of the best looking women in the world right now. How often do you see people also hating on her. And again, I'm not saying that that's okay, but no matter who you are, the point is that you're gonna get your looks made fun of online. It's it's even happened to me in my own comment sections. The overall point Frost was making is that she believes she's being held to a different standard than her colleagues because she's a woman. And if we're still talking about looks here, yeah, it happens to your male go-hosts as well. I'd argue that it doesn't happen as much, but they do dig harder when it comes to the men. Anyways, let's move on a little bit more. Frost also mentions that Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn, who were previous hosts before her, they weren't there just to satisfy the male gaze. But as many people point it out and again I'm saying this because I haven't watched the program myself it's been said it's been said in a lot a lot of things that I've seen that those two people and I, I have looked at the clips afterwards <laughs> it's true they have used their leverage in the past they've been known to do some questionable things and tap into that male gaze that she speaks of was it wrong for them to do that I mean I don't really care they can do what they want plus people seem to like it it's also important to note that those two weren't just eye candy many people also pointed out that they brought a lot of value to the show and really cared and loved what they were talking about now I also think that it's important to note that there is nothing wrong with the other side of the fence here. There is nothing wrong with Frost not wanting to do that same thing and ju just like not wanting to please the male gaze at all and just focusing on what she's there to do. Here's where my problem is. Frost has to know that she will be compared in every single way to the previous host of the show. It's just what happens when you take over for someone else, especially something unlike content creation. Whether that be for looks or performance, you will be compared in every single way possible. And unfortunately, oftentimes it will be very harsh because you're taking over for someone that people in the audience that are used to and probably actually really liked. Does it suck? Yes. Is it right? Ah, yes and no. People could be nicer, but it's totally fair game to compare them. And look, I understand that it must be so hurtful to be compared to two women who are extremely good looking. It must be, it, I, I can't imagine. I don't understand myself. It must be, I cannot put myself in your shoes. That must be so hard to go through. But at the end of the day, you had to have known that this was coming, at least to like small comparisons, at least. And this leads me to my next point. It was not a good idea to just start attacking your viewers live on stream, whether you were in the right or wrong. As disgusting as those comments may be, and no matter how much they may affect you, you have to understand that those comments make up for such a small, just a handful of the number of viewers you have out there. And when you go on to talk about how terrible people are and make all these assumptions, it will only turn people off from your program. And again, please, I cannot speak for myself because I don't watch it myself. I just like this video has been making the rounds, right? And I caught up with it a little bit, but there's so many people saying that they're done with G4. On top of that, it's just not a good idea in general to give the haters attention. Come on, you only ha you have to know that will only bring you more. They're looking for a reaction from you. They want you to lose it. And when you do, it makes it so much easier for them to attack you more. Take this tweet for example. My inbox is looking like some weak Xbox Live messages these days. Thanks for the engagement on my stuff, taking these clicks all the way to the bank. <sighs> You're just making it worse on yourself, Frost. You had to use the kissy face too, that's so passive aggressive. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you here. I don't think there's any coming back from this. She opened a door for people to hang on and hate her forever. Is this the road you wanna go down? The internet doesn't forget and the trolls will not stop. They will keep beating you down until you end up yourself like in a state of depression. And please guys, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying this is fair. I'm not saying any of these comments are justified. I'm just saying I think Frost could have handled it better. Women who are online do have to go through a lot and it's not fair. Men will look in judge from anonymous accounts and they will write disgusting things. You have to deal with it and show what you can bring to the table. Make your audience like you and show that you have value. To get off topic for a second, you may or may not be familiar with Laura Sanko. She's worked closely with the UFC for a very long time. Look at this woman. She's stunning. Unfortunately for her, for years she's received disgusting comments no matter where she went because of the size of her chest. A common take to see in the MMA community was also comparing her to Helen Yee who is another reporter for M in the MMA scene and they just all they do is just make a joke about the size of how, how big they are, you know what I mean? When in 
reality, they are covered up, dressed professionally, and did the job to the best of their ability. They never engaged with any of the girls' comments, they never criticized their audience, they never went off about anything, and they also, it seems that they understood that those comments were just a very, very loud minority. They focused and did their jobs and became some of the most successful people in their area. Laura Sanko worked so hard and drove through all of those comments and ended up as an actual analyst at a UFC event on ESPN. That's how you handle it. Look at her for inspiration. I get it. It must be so hard to be compared to such insanely good looking women. It must be degrading to have people comment on your appearance and it must be ridiculously frustrating to be compared to hosts of a show that were there prior to you. You're gonna have to overcome all of that. It's not fair but it's life. Do what Laura did. Show them you're not just there for the male gaze and show them that you're there for a reason. And eventually, they will come around. Like I said though, I think she's, unfortunately, I think she's completely ruined it by continuing to attack and make assumptions about the people who had nothing to do with this. She generalized her entire audience and that's gonna be a very, very tough fix, although I don't believe that she even wants to fix it. I wanna know what you think about all this. Do you think Fox handled this in the right way? What do you think about my take? Anyways guys, I would love to know what you think down below, so let's talk about it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed and if you play Fortnite, you'd like to use my code in the item shop. It is code Clen, hashtag epic partner. Check the description for any links you want to find as well as real ember on Fiverr. Check the description, excuse me. <laughs> Check the description down below if there's any links that you want to find as well as real ember on Fiverr. If you are an aspiring YouTuber and you need some thumbnails for your videos, check out real ember. He does all my thumbnails and they are absolutely incredible. Remember guys, thumbnails are the most important part of your channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.